Hello, Ryan here, and welcome to Star Citizen Sunday. This is a weekly show which covers all of the news from the week just past. Be sure to subscribe if you like what you see, and let's get on with it. This week, Alpha 323 continues in testing with a very cool new patch. We take a closer look at the new Moby Glass and the all important star map. Plus, Game Glass have provided us with some very cool things to give away. So, before we begin, let us take a look at the latest Alpha 323 patch. This build dropped a day or two ago, and it brought with it some very interesting and exciting updates and improvements. Firstly, the character customizer has had some more polish. Also, the EVA transition animations received further polish, and the water render sim quality had some tweaks and polish as well. And they have also improved the ship combat AI to be more formidable, with tougher ship pilots exhibiting new behaviors. All based on real PU combat, via collecting data from experienced dogfighters to give them more movesets, allowing the AI to do strafing runs, new orbits, more intelligent maneuvers and distancing, and much more. And it says, blurring the lines between player and AI flight. Now this is going to be very interesting. It's going to be great just seeing how this plays out in the verse, making the AI more challenging and engaging and a lot more diverse as well. So they're not always doing the same thing over and over again, maybe adapting and changing on the fly based on what players are doing. Cannot wait to experience that. Now the star map and physical shopping AI UI has also received more polish, plus they have added a prone grenade underarm throw animation. Now there has been a lot more tuning and balancing for the various weapons since they brought in the big update to the FPS stuff and CPU and GPU runtime performance optimizations, which is of course wonderful to hear. And I believe that they are also planning to test the Vulcan API this next week. So that will be of great interest for many of us seeing whether there is a lot of performance improvements. It won't be for everybody. I think it's mostly people who are GPU bound or CPU bound, I cannot remember but for a good chunk of us, we should see some more improvements there. Now, there was also a lot of bug fixes and server and client crash fixes as well. And upon checking the issue council recently, now this is for 3.22.1, what we're playing now on live, I believe the dedicated SRT salvaging gun should now be able to sell the triple canisters of RMC. It says that that bug has been fixed. I have not been able to try it myself. I will try to do so on Monday stream. So if anyone has time or has tested it, do let me know whether you can sell these triple canisters and for how much. I believe you can sell them at the TDDs. Anyway, some amazing updates there for the latest 323 patch. I have yet to actually get access to the Evocati builds. I am now Evocati, but I think they're still processing my account. So I haven't been able to get in and actually start playing. Hopefully it will get sorted soon and I can get in and test it and let you all know how it feels. Now on my Discord, which if I don't remember to post the link below, do let me know. I have created a new channel to allow you guys to ask what you want to know about 323. I will try to go through and test those specific things and then let you know what my findings are. Cannot guarantee I will get to all of it or even any of it. It really depends on what I have time to do. But by all means, do check that out if you have something specific you want to know about. But with that said, let us get to the giveaway. So the very cool people over at Game Glass have provided us with some goodies to give away in celebration of their new launch and collaboration with Overwolf and to reward my community for their amazing support. So thank you so much. This is because of you guys. Now for this giveaway, we have three prizes up for grabs with two people winning a lifetime Game Glass pass and one lucky winner claiming the grand prize of a lifetime pass as well, an Amazon Fire HD 10 tablet to use for Game Glass in Star Citizen, and a beautiful Origin 300i ship, which is an ultramarine with a ton of additions, including a coffee machine and a food maker inside. Now, all you have to do to be in with a chance of winning is comment on any of my videos that I put out between now and next Sunday, letting me know what Alpha 323 feature you are most excited for also, if you don't mind, do subscribe to me here on YouTube and follow me over on twitch.tv forward slash supermacbrother. The links are below. These are not requirements for the giveaway, but I would certainly appreciate it. Next Sunday, I will pick a video at random and one winner for the grand prize at random and then two other winners for the lifetime Game Glass pass. So best of luck to you all and a massive thank you to Game Glass for providing these goodies. 
This is also the very last day to pick up a lifetime Game Glass Pass before it goes back to being a monthly or yearly subscription. So if you are wanting to grab it and use your phone and tablet as your ship's dashboard, be sure to use my code at the checkout being SMB and this will get you 5% off, but also it will provide my channel with a direct kickback. So a big thank you in advance for the support if you do so. So this week's Inside Star Citizen was focused on two very important new pieces of UI that are coming with Alpha 323, being the new Moby Glass and Star Map. Now in Alpha 323, the Moby Glass has received a full visual overhaul. They are also using a new piece of tech called Cards, which is currently used in other areas of the game. And now almost all of the Moby Glass and its apps are converted to this card tech. The only apps that are not converted at this time are the Vehicle Manager app and the Comms app, which are going to be the same in 323 as we have now, but they will be converted down the line. Now, they say the new UI looks much nicer. It feels better and functions easier too. The home screen presents a lot more information in a cleaner way, as you can see with your vehicle status, your health, contract notifications, reputation and the local environment with the usual app choices down on the bottom row. And along with the new Moby Glass comes a new health app, which displays all the information regarding your character's health, the suit you're wearing, and the environment that you're in. And as you can see, it also now shows the active conditions and effects, as well as the active drugs that might be affecting your character at a given time. Now, this is certainly a much needed addition as it can be very confusing trying to figure out what is going on with your character and certain ailments that are impacting your character as sometimes they can just be mistaken for a bug. So this will let us know if there is anything wrong and what might be required to fix it. This app is also future-proofed for upcoming effects to the player status system like radiation, broken bones and much more and hopefully it will allow them to further expand the gameplay with the medical profession making it a bit more visceral and hands-on. Next up we took a look at the contracts manager which has also had an overhaul and it generally functions the same but visually it has been polished and the user experience is much better. There is also a toggle that you can go between legal and illegal missions. Now next up we have the map app and starting with the interior map, this gives you a bird's eye view of your local environment and will be used for all of the ships, space stations and eventually all areas of the game. But for 323, it will be somewhat limited with more locations coming with each release. Now, as you can see, it presents the doors and their states, be that locked or unlocked, which will be more important when hacking comes along. It is also labeled so you can see exactly what is where in the local environment allowing you to plot a route to where you want to go. And this will be displayed in the top left hand of the screen when you come out of the map, so you can see it in your little mini map. Also, do note that along the left hand screen of the map app, there will be a list of available known locations that you can quick find, which is a great addition, saving a lot of time when looking for, say, the admin office when you first land at a space station or a landing zone. It will also display your mission objective location. It'll allow you to plot routes and place your own markers, which in my opinion is the best thing of all. Now, finally for the star map, this has also been completely overhauled and expanded upon. And when you open it up, you will firstly see the interior and local area. And if you are to zoom out, you will then see the system map. And eventually, once we move beyond the Stanton system, we will see the full universe map as well. Now, once you zoom out to the system app, you can see all of the available locations. And if you were to click on any of them, it will pan and zoom into that location and then list all of the available amenities and the description for that place, which is great as right now, I use a third party website to find any information about what's found at space stations, at landing zones. This will give us the information before we have to even travel there, saving a lot of time, a lot of fuel and allowing us to properly plan our routes especially as we start getting longer distance routes. Now, setting travel routes in the new star map also provides a lot more feedback in a much more legible way. There is also a search function, which is one of the best quality of life additions, making traversal much more flexible. So these are going to be some of the most significantly improved features for all of us in 323, as everybody needs to use the Moby Glass, the map system, and we use it multiple times during a single play session. 
It is going to make the whole process much more streamlined and user friendly, especially for new players. But with the added functionality of placing personal markers, it's going to be a bit of a game changer when finding locations to return to. For example, you could be a miner and you find a, a huge supply of ore. You will be able to place a marker and go back to that location if you can't mine it all in one go. As a salvager or a scavenger, you could move items that you find on your travels to a secret location and then keep returning to that location to process it all down in your own time and in a lot more safety. Now also one major benefit to the updated Mobiglass is how they can now efficiently work on new apps for many other areas and professions of the game, like the Cargo Manifest app, a bounty hunting app, a trading app, and any other app that we may need. And on that note, do drop a comment below letting me know what app that you would want to see and why, as I would love to hear what other app ideas there could be out there. Now essentially, these changes will make the current game so much better and easier to play while future-proofing the game for what is to come. But with that said, that was Inside Star Citizen. So excited to get my hands on 323, but let us move on. So also this week, the roadmap was updated. I have covered this in a dedicated video, which I will link below, and it is not to be missed, as it brought with it a very exciting new feature set to release in an Alpha 323.x patch. Jumptown 2.0 is back on for those interested, plus we have more information regarding CitizenCon this year with a Q&A about the event and when the tickets are going to go on sale. No idea how much the tickets are just yet, but I'm sure they will let us know soon. Now for more information on this, do follow the links below and I will see you there. And finally, Mission 4 of the Overdrive initiative is available for those of you who are playing through it. So that brings us to the end of the show. If you do enjoy my content, please consider subscribing and hitting that like button. Also, I am able to do this thanks to my very generous patrons and channel members. If you appreciate what I do and would like to help make it even better from as little as $1 a month, all of the links are provided below.